I'm Peter Block in Chicago at the AHA annual meeting for On the Scene. And with me to my left is Michael Stokes from Australia, from Adelaide. And he has done an interesting trial on renal transplantation. Renal transplantation, Michael, of course, implies that you've been on dialysis, so you have an AV fistula. And I guess the trial asks the question, does that, if you can close that left to right shunt, does that impact myocardial mass? So tell me sure. about the trial, Michael, to start with. Well, we, we thought this was an important trial to run because um, kidney transplantation is increasing in its volume everywhere in the world. Um, in, the, in the United States, there's about 20,000 transplants that occur per year. But we're left with this unknown dilemma about what to do with people's arteriovenous fistula following transplantation. Um, we know there's some potential adverse effects from leaving an AV fistula um, open for in the long term and so we wanted to study whether closing the arteriovenous fistula gave any favorable cardiac remodeling um, in our population. Well it makes sense doesn't it? I mean if you have a big left to right shunt and these are not yeah. small shunts in no. the arm right? Yeah. Uh, you would expect increased volume, increased RV size, increased RA size, LA size, LV size. That's right. So you ligated these surgically I assume, minor that, operation, not a big deal. That's right. So it was a same day surgical procedure. This was a randomized control trial, so one to one allocation. Um, half the patients were left alone and they all, all the patients had a cardiac MRI scan at baseline and this was repeated after six months in those who had undergone closure of their arteriovenous fistula um, and after six months in the controls also. Okay, and you were measuring LV and RV and R LA and RA size that, and mass. That's right, and we, in addition to that, we also took BNP blood test levels, um, and we also measured the pulmonary artery velocity using a cardiac MR sequence. Okay, so let's cut to the chase. Sure. What did you find? So we found that left ventricular mass in those patients who had their fistula closed significantly reduced um, by 14.7%, which was 22.1 grams. Um, and this f f compares quite favorably with previous studies in hypertension, uh, in pharmacological therapy um, mediated reduction in left ventricular mass. Uh, we also found a, a reduction in left ventricular end diastolic volume and end systolic volume, right, atrial, right ventricular volumes, atrial size and also a reduction in left atrial volume, which is important because atrial fibrillation is common in this group of patients. Absolutely, I get that. Yeah. So, you know, as I hear you telling me these results, I say, well, it's sort of what you would expect, isn't it? So I guess the question to you is, Michael, should everybody who has a renal transplantation, gets through the operation, is stable, yeah. have their AV fistula closed? What we found are powerful surrogates of clinical benefit, um, a reduction in left ventricular mass, reduction in left ventricular yeah. volumes, the BNP reduction are all powerful surrogates. I think to really uh, confirm these findings, a large clinical study with powerful clinical endpoints um, conducted in a randomized multiple center study would help confirm these findings. So there you go. I mean, this is about 65 plus patients this or is so. about Yeah, 64 patients originally enrolled, yeah. um, 54 completed the study, um, but I think I think that we found certainly powerful surrogates of benefit. Well, it's a powerful study, and I think, you know, on balance, it makes complete sense. Now we'll see what the largest study shows. Thank you, Michael. Thanks very much, Peter.